built this a couple weeks ago. I had two people ask on my comments how dimensions or how to build. So what I basically did was I built this bottom square out first. These these two by sixes down here. These are six foot. Those are full eight foot. Well, the, those are actually cut down by three inches to make it a total of eight foot. So this is a total of eight foot long. So these are cut to six. Those are actually cut down to from 96 to what, 93. <clears throat> then what I did was I put this four by four in place. I put this four by four. I cut this at a 15 degree angle. So it's just under eight foot. I forget what the actual angle of the, the height is, but you got a minus five and a half inches from the deck, an inch and a half, well, five and a half from this, an inch and a half from here. So that's what, five and a half, six and a half, seven inches that you lose. And then from this, but this is eight foot, cut at a 15 foot, a 15 degree angle. So I put, I screwed this one in from the, on the inside from, and screwed it from the outside. I put this one in place right here. I took a two by six and I screwed it. I got the angle, right? You get your angle and then you put one screw in to hold it in place. Come back here, bring it however high or however low you want it to get your pitch. Put one screw in, mark the back side of it. Come over here, mark the front side of it, and then mark your four by four post. Take it off. Then you can cut the front of your 2x6, take this off, your 4x4, cut the angle on here so you get the exact angle you want. You're not guessing what degree or whatever, but you pretty much have your degree, which is 15. But if you want a little bit greater, you can bring it down a little bit more. You can bring it up a little bit more. You have a room to play. Then you make take this piece right here, your 2x6, and you cut your next one. So now you have all four posts cut exactly the same and both your, your two rafters. And then from there, you put your four, all your four by fours in. And once you get your four by fours in, you screw them in place. You run your outside pieces, then you run your inside pieces, then you run your inside rafter, right? You run your front, your back, your inside rafter. And then the deck is two by sixes. The, I bought 12 foot two by sixes, I cut down to six foot. That way I only had to make one cut and I saved money on lumber. So those are the dimensions. These I think are right at six foot, because I'm six foot. So those in the back are just, just under six foot. Well, remember though, you have seven inches, you know, roughly that you have to compensate. So if you want this six inches, you got to consider this is five and a half inches. This is seven inches. This is going to be connected down there. So don't cut this to six foot. You have to cut this taller than six foot because if you want it to be six foot, if you want this, the bottom to be six foot, then from here to here needs to be six foot, not the total length of the four by four. So you gotta take into consideration that measurement and this measurement. If you want the, the height in here to be six foot, then this doesn't matter, just that down there matters. Because once you're in here, it's not a big deal. So it just depends on how you want your actual deck set up. So, and then the sheet metal was just uh, 12 foot pieces I cut down. Now, I didn't do any overhang. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but I don't have any overhang on mine, on the front or the rear. So overhang is basically where the sheet metal is gonna come past. So when the rain falls, like when the rain falls from the front, it, it doesn't like fall straight down onto the deck and same thing for the rear. I didn't do overhang. I built mine in six foot exactly. And because I built it six foot, I, either had to build my deck smaller or I'd have to go and buy longer sheet metal. And I didn't want to do that. So an easy fix to that would basically be, all I have to do is get sheet metal cut down uh, one foot sections, lift it up, throw some sheet metal underneath there, screw it back down. So I can add on to it, but I'm just not going to, it works just fine. The only time the barbecue pit gets wet is whenever there's torrential downpour or there's sideways rain is the only time it gets wet. So it does its job just fine. But for those of you who are wanting, that's that's how I actually built it, and those are the dimensions. So this, so from here to here, is six foot. From here to there, is eight foot. 